Now, if not, I'm going to continue the teaching how to keep the anointing and also, you know, the importance of keeping the anointing. Uh, why is it important to keep the anointing? Because then when you pray for people, people can experience the Holy Spirit easily and also more people experience the Holy Spirit. If people doesn't have a strong anointing, they lay hands on people, people might not experience anything. So if you want to bring people to Jesus by praying for them, stand closer. And then also raising up people's spiritual life, it is very helpful to have stronger anointing. Okay. But, but I want to say that do not be concerned first about anointing. First is about our relationship with God. Am I really loving God and obeying God in every way? That's more important. When you have the right heart and we spend more time praying, <coughs> the anointing will come stronger upon us. And you can also pray with some people in the church or at home to build up the anointing. So in a church there can be spirit-filled prayer meetings. That in the meeting that people open the heart to God. And believe God is here. And open the heart to love God. To build up a strong, stronger anointing. Do you think it's necessary to have a strong anointing? Is it? Yes, it's very helpful. Okay, now right now I'm going to say how we can keep a stronger anointing of God. Okay, number one, repent and hate the sin and turn away from all sins. That we know that when God, you know, when God sees sins in a person, He doesn't like it, He hates it. He cannot stand it. Now I, I, you know, I, I have to say this, I hope you don't mind, that I heard that, you know, in many places and also including Africa, that fornication or adultery sometimes is common. Now, if that is happening to you, yeah, and I hope that you know that this God doesn't like it, God hates it. After I experience the Holy Spirit, and I experience His love and see how God can use me in ministry, I became very thankful to God. Lord, I thank you for your presence, for your Holy Spirit. I really thank God for that. 
kera nari ndashima imana impindurushima ntangira gushimira imana kubera ko yansize yansutse amavuta yayo ibyo biranezeza cyane and i don't want to waste my life because of sin rero sinshaka kunezeza ubuzima bwa cyangwa kuzamurwa n'icyaha ndabwo nyene kuzamuka cyane ndu munyabyaha i want to say this any little sin can destroy our whole life Bekambabwire akaha gatoya uhita gatoya gashobora kurimbura ubugingo bwose bw'umuntu bwose. For instance if someone dislike another person, urugero umuntu aramutse yanze mugenzi we, it will affect our relationship with God because I won't feel we won't feel peaceful. Ibyo rero bituma umuntu adatekana bisobanura ngo biba birokoye ubusabane bwawe n'Imana. And it affect our relationship with people and with the church. Icyo gihe rero n'ubusabane bwawe nitorero nabwo buzama gatotsi n'ubusabane bwawe nabantu buzama igitotsi And also the fact that we're angry with someone if this news is spread then people will be against us Rero igize gutyo kagira urakarira iyi nkuru iramamara ikwira hose none aho abantu bamwe bagatagira kuturwanya For instance if I go to the mission field and then I say something wrong I do something wrong it might not be very bad but if someone spreads it This can be words against my ministry. Rero ndamutse ngiye hano mwivuga gutuma hirya no hino. Nagera yo mvuga nagira icyo mvuga nagira uwo ndakarira gatoya. Wenda bisora ko atari bibi ko shora ko nacyaha umuntu namukira ginama. Ariko iyo babyamamaje bakagenda babihindura babihiri mizina biramamara bikangiza umurimo w'Imana nakora nakoraga. Izera ry'Imana rigatugwa. Any one sin can hurt our relationship with God, with people, with church and with our ministry. Bero tugomba kwitwararika uko dukora umurimo w'Imana uko ngo akaha gatoya icyaha gitoya gishora gutuma umurimo ubusabane bwacu n'Imana buza mu gitotsi ubusabane bwacu nitorero buza mu gitotsi imibanire y'abanyetorero iza mu gitotsi ugasanga byangije byinshi So I'm very careful to handle any sinful thought any negative emotions in my heart. Bero ugomba kwitondera kurwanya icyaha icyo ari cyo cyose ndetse n'icyaha kiza kigakora mu maranga mutima naje ugomba kure buryo ukirwanya mu buryo bwose bushoboka. Number two is read the Bible, love the Bible and apply the Bible. Icya kabiri soma Bibiliya ukunde Bibiliya mu byo ukora byose ukoreshe amahame ya Bibiliya Now some people experience the Holy Spirit they will say every day I laugh in the Lord I don't have to read the Bible anymore because the Holy Spirit speaks to me Harabanya mitwe minini cyane rero buzu umwuka wera akavuga ngo ke nta mpamvu yo kusoma Bibiliya kora ko nuzu umwuka wera ke urubiye byose nibera mu jugo You know I want to say this There is no one on earth here who just have the connection with God and then he doesn't read the Bible that he can teach right. Because the Bible is the clearest revelation of God that he tells us how to live, how to have a relationship with him and how to serve and how to handle problems. Jimana kivuga umutima w'Imana kivuga uko tubayeho kivuga uko Imana yaremye kivuga iki Imana dushakaho ni igitabo kitu kitwigisha imibanire yacu n'Imana ndetse nabandi bantu Now some people they like to go to church and dance and say hallelujah 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 Ari na abantu bamwe bakunda kwigira mu rusengero bakiririmbira bakabyina hallelujah 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 And they think that then they are spiritual We all need the Bible because the Bible has the wisdom of God, the revelation of God. Nothing can replace. Not only reading Bible, but also putting it in our life, in our memory. Ariko nano ndeno soma Bibiliya nuzayisome nusome imvaho uzayisome ayima nusoma inyuguti ze kuri inyuguti aho buzihindura ubuzima biwe ubuzima busanzwe bikubemo biwe ubuzima bese ukuremo ubuzima And number three is faith in God that he wants to fill us with the Holy Spirit he loves us 
Dero muruko gusoba bibiliya no isoba nezo kayumva icyo gihe bizatu murusha gusaba na n'Imana Imani kuzuza umwuka wayo mu byukuri Imani irashaka ko kuzuza umwuka wayo Now write this down this is number 3 point number 3 Yego yaka tatiyo muyandike Now Zephaniah 317 There is sense that he will take great delight in you he will quiet you with his love he will rejoice over you with singing Okay. What this verse says is okay. Now, what it says here is that God is very happy to be with us. Especially when we come close to him, when we pray to him and worship him. That God takes great delight in you. That he rejoices over you with singing. And quiet you with his love. It's like, you know, the baby is crying. The mother holds the baby and quiet the baby with her love. So God wants to quiet you with his love. And he rejoices over us with singing. He will sing, I love you, I love you, I love you. That God is so very happy with us. So have the faith when you pray to God with a pure heart, God is happy to come to you and fill you with the Holy Spirit. Now some people pray like this, God where are you? Come quickly, I need you, please come where are you? And God says, Now this way actually is lack of faith. When we have faith, we believe God is very good, He wants to bless us, then we can experience Him more. Faith is like an open heart. That's why Jesus said, with faith, everyone, everything is possible. So when you pray, you say, the Lord wants to fill me, the Lord wants to, wants to bless me. The Lord wants to fill me, the Lord wants to bless me. The Lord wants to fill me, the Lord wants to bless me. The Lord wants to fill me, the Lord wants to bless me. Now when I pray for people, there are people who are very open, but there are some people who are not very open. I'll just say in my heart, Lord, you want to bless him. So I can relax. Oh, so relax. I know God will work. So I don't have pressure. When you, when you go home and read and pray, some people might say, how come now I pray I don't feel anything? That is lack of faith. Even when you don't feel anything, you say, God is always happy to see me pray. And when you feel peaceful or your body swing, you say, God is blessing me. Now, I'm not saying that 
You know, anytime, I, as I said, the prayer of grace, remember, always declaring God is loving us, He wants to fill us with the Holy Spirit. I pray that all the time. Lord, you want to bless us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, now point number four. Pray in the spirit and in truth for as long as we can. Now this morning we'll talk about the spirit and the soul. Now everyone say it, spirit and soul. And then the soul includes what? Mind, will, and feeling. Now say it together. The soul includes the mind, the will, and the feeling. Feeling. Okay. The mind, the will, the feeling. Just say the three words. Mind, the will, and the feeling. Say it. No, you are saying two, there are three. Three things. Mind. Say it. Okay. Now put in your memory. My whole mind agrees with the whole Bible. God is the best. He keeps all his promises in the Bible. Following the Bible is the best. The mind is always filled with godly thoughts. Do we want to get rid of any negative thoughts? And then the will, I want to give my life to God. And then feeling. Whenever we think of God, we like Him. It's like when I drink the water, I like it. So I like God. God, I like you. I want you. I need you. Oh, anytime we pray with our spirit. It's like an open door. It means the Holy Spirit comes and fills you. Pero you chingu muriyo muriango umu kawera umiru mukara umiru nyuzure. And then the Spirit. Me ani umu kawera. The Spirit is what connects to God. Ah umu chima wawe jamu se umu um umu kawawe uto meka kumban. So all that is in me prays His holy name. O kamera nanda wido ti ivindi mo bjose. That's Psalm 103, verse 1. <coughs> All that is in me praise His holy name. If you remember, I asked uh, the three of them who experienced the joy to cry out, Yesu, hallelujah! <laughs> and then they start to have joy. Remember that? <laughs> It flows from your spirit. From the inside of you. Let me tell you, that's the key. From the inside, oh Jesus, ah! <laughs> from the spirit. From the spirit inside. And then if you learn this prayer, very, 
you can be filled with the Holy Spirit anywhere. anywhere. Now for me, I don't need any warm up at all. I start to pray and the joy and the power of God. Now I want to say this, I notice you really like dancing. And I want to encourage you to do this. When you're dancing, don't just think of the steps or the song, the good song. Or don't just think of the happiness. Think of God. You are so wonderful. <laughs> if you dance like that, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit very easily. But some people just dance to the music. Now, how you dance, they yeah? think about God. That's why they think. Yeah, right. That's why they done. Yeah, they sh it should be. The point is, sometimes people could be just thinking about a dance instead of thinking about God. Okay. The point is. How open are we? How open are we? Any outside action, there can be two, two ways. One way is really loving God, one way is just they enjoy the action. <laughs> Okay, so I encourage you to do that. Like when you sing worship songs, sing from the Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 If you open your spirit any time, now it doesn't mean now. You see me, I don't laugh all the time. I just demonstrate to you now. I tell you, I can control the outside laughing, but inside I carry the anointing because I've learned to open my spirit to God. I want to say that this is a secret revealed in the Bible that we can apply. Do you want this secret in your life? That all the time you have the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And now I'm not boasting, but just now you saw that I pray for everyone. And everyone share the experience of the Holy Spirit. So I hope you say, yes, I want more of the anointing. I want to love God more from my heart. Okay, and then spend more time. First, in your you know, quiet time to praise the Lord, and also all day long, love God. And number six is hunger for God. Now even now, if any spirit-filled person wants to lay hand on me, I will accept that because I hunger for a stronger feeling of God. 
Kwa hiyo hara mtsari umeona kanga tindungo mfiti nzara nyishi tsonze ya imana rwose wanaona hamanya nawe nafite gura kumusengera kubera ko nanye mfite iryo shaka And then number six, the Holy Spirit is for obeying the Lord and also the Great Commission. To preach the gospel and teach people to obey everything God has commanded us. That our goal is always to bless more people. When you do that, the Lord will be with us to the end of the ages. Okay, and then the seventh point is that with the laying of hands or spirit-filled prayer meetings are very helpful. But I want to say this, when I lay hand on you or someone lay hand on you, you the benefit would only stay for a few days. In a few days time, if you don't pray, it's like a leaking cup. The Holy Spirit presence will be weaker and weaker. So laying on of hands only help for a short time. You have to keep the anointing. Okay, now we go through these points again. One, turn away from all sins. Say it. Say it. Say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number, number two, the Bible. Number three, faith. Number four, pray in spirit and in truth for as long as possible. Number five. And number five, hunger for God. And number six, laying on of hands and spirit-filled prayer meetings. The Great Commission. Okay. And then there is an eight point two. Handle problems in the life. Handle different problems. The number eight point. Handle problems in the life. Now, I want to say this. If you pray a lot these few days, by the time I leave you, you will find a very strong anointing on you already. I want to say that if you don't do anything, when I leave, you will be the same as you did before. Okay, 
Now let me say this. You know, I love to teach and I love to help people. But I don't spend a lot of time chatting with people. You know, there are many people they spend a lot of time chatting, talking for a long time. If we are not helping the person, spiritually blessing the person, we are wasting the time sometimes, you know. I've encouraged some people pray more and then turn around, they're talking. So I hope that you say, yes, I want the Lord. I, I want to say this, when we have the Lord, we have everything. When you follow the Lord and love the Lord, you have everything. And then you serve God with anointing, you have you know blessings in your ministry. And God will provide for you. And open doorways for you. And God will bless your whole life. Now, if you really pray a lot these few days, tell me. And I, was, I can check it out. When I pray for you, I know. I will know whether you are filled with the Holy Spirit, Spirit more or you cannot keep the filling of the Holy Spirit. I just want to say briefly, I have prayed for many people and all kinds of miracles happen. They have been cancer patient healed instantly. People have a stroke and then they have problem moving and then after the prayer they can move much more. The eyes were blurry and after the prayer the eyes became clear. And people feel the joy even in a hospital. I pray for people in a hospital and they were filled with the joy of the Lord. And people change instantly to love God and serve God. So you too can carry this anointing. Don't just look for power. Look for God. To glorify God. Okay. It's about time, right? Okay. Okay. He's saying it's a time, but it's giving you one uh, you. ten, ten okay. minutes to conclude. So let us stand up and pray together, and then whoever wants me to pray for, we'll pray. And tomorrow, we'll, I'll tell how to use the anointing of the Holy Spirit ministry and raise up people to serve God. Now, and some of you might experience the Holy Spirit even standing here together. And then if you would like me to pray for you afterwards, you can stay behind. Now, I also want to say this. Sometimes some people pray by shouting. It's okay. I, but I want to say is, if you shout and at the same time really love God, it's very different. Now, I want to say this. 
abakundi musenga basakuza ariko biba ibyiza biba byiza cyane iyo usenga biva kundi bayo mutima some people can be just praying like this oh god bless the church god bless the church god bless the church god bless the people bless more people bring more people here it's just shouting but if you if you do it from the heart it's very different urabona hari no umuntu ushobora gusenga rwose akavuga ngo mana humugishitore 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 humugisha abantu nazo duhumuje duhumugisha ari ibintu biva mu mutwe ariko iyo biva kundi we mutima bibitandukana nibiva mu mutwe and when you have faith also is very different nando iyo ufite kwizera ya bitandukanye now you can shout but you don't have to shout to have the power of the holy spirit Yeo bwana sakuza ariko urya usakuza rwo ruzana imbaraga zimuka wera. You know this when I pray for people I did not shout at all. Aho nagiye yo tsengera abantu ntabwo nsakuza. Because it's from my spirit. Kwera ko bakundi bayumutse. Oh Lord bless the church. Hallelujah. Oh bwana humugishitoro. Oh hallelujah. Oh God change our lives. Oh hallelujah. When I pray from the spirit I can feel the power come right away. Yes, everyone, everyone stand up. Up. Everyone oh, stand up. Oh, now everyone pray to God from your spirit. Oh, yes, oh. Yes, oh. We need you. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. We need you. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Jesus come Lord Jesus bless us Lord change our lives help us to put down the burdens we need you Jesus we need you Jesus we trust in you oh we trust in you Jesus we trust in you oh we trust in you Lord Jesus you're almighty you're loving you want to bless us you want to bless us oh yes oh yes oh yes Yes, I love you, Lord. Yes, yes, I love you, Lord. Yes, I love you, Lord. Yes, Jesus loves me. Tu 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah.